Hello, I'm Vadini Ariam. In this video, I'm going to talk about how do entrepreneurs, unsuccessful entrepreneurs, feel positive. If you are unsuccessful in your business, it's difficult to feel positive. That is the thing I'm going to talk about. Some people always work in the business, but they never see any positives. So that's sad. An uns aspiring entrepreneur will be anxious to see some good results. Feedback recognition. To see some good e or even some income. Unfortunately, some do not get all that. Any of those around them, ready to, people are ready to criticize because they don't have any of those. They find people close to them and people around them ready to criticize. Do not have slightest appreciation even with this type of entrepreneurs. As a business person, you might not be successful, but it's a great thing you have set up the business and start running it. Success is a different thing. And you are staying in the business and running is itself is a success. We all know that most of us like to spend the time happily going out and meeting friends and some of us may not have friends, but still they want to go out shopping and spend their time happily in any way they can do. However, an unsuccessful aspiring entrepreneur cannot do any of those because due to lack of time and money as well, cannot afford to spend a lot of money. To have a valuable help, ultimately lack of, do not have a valuable help to leave the business go due to lack of money to do anything to make them happy. Because if you are a single person, if you are a loner and an entrepreneur, you have to work on your own all the time without any help. So you cannot enjoy your life in any way. Whether spending money or going out and just seeing the places, you cannot do because you are not successful and also lack of help. That said, the only contentment they have is holding on to the business. They, they might not have anything, but they think to themselves, I'm having a business, I'm a business person, I'm holding it to you. I will try and develop as possible as much. Developing the knowledge every day, it's an inspiration for them because failure teaches them to learn. Failure is the path to success. Therefore, they keep learning more and more new ways to apply to their business to achieve their goal. It is entirely out of the question if you have financial issues after setting up your business. Having, hard, having heard you might still need financial help to take your business off the ground. The things an entrepreneur needs in business are softwares, mentors, marketing expenses, and business help. These are all ongoing expenses. It will never stay. It will be there all the time. You, of course, a business person need to have a mentor to inspire them. The mentors will inspire them and teach them the things they might not know. Learning more and more to keep their goal. The things, these are the things that entrepreneur will need to become successful in life, in the business. All that gives, when you don't have all that, what I said now, you face depression and going become hopeless at the time of their life happen to meet jealousy people to under, underrate them all the time. That is a normal thing. When you do something, if you are not successful, people will laugh at you. That is a, that is expected. And they will find it difficult to overcome those when they are in the depressive state of mind. When anyone is at low level, no one will help without with anything. Finance, mainly because heavily underestimated person. They think it's a 
running a business is a waste of time. People, there is no trust and their conclusion that business is a waste of time. Therefore, I'll give some tips on how to deal with it, how to come out of your depressive mode. You have to mix around with people of your caliber to get some feedback about your business. And also you can give the feedback about their business. That takes you away from the undermines. That brings to you, when you get the feedback, about your business, you learn more about the mistake, mistakes that you made. Do not make emotional decisions. If anything wrong happens, take some time to relax your mind. Do not immediately, don't rush into making any decisions if anything bad happens. When you analyze the reasons, you might find the obstacles that stop you from success. You have to analyze the reasons you have to be sure of the reasons that is stopping you from your success. So try to come out of that block. People face failure because they feel reluctant to do crucial things that applies to the business, one of that. So you have to know what is important to your business. You might be working hard, but the things you are doing might not help, the, help to grow the business. That's another thing. Next thing is they do not mix around with influencers, influencers in your industry. That is very important. You can learn a lot of things from them because they are ready to their people, ready to encourage you and share their knowledge with you. So you will be very, they will be very helpful to you if you try and mix around with them. If you find it difficult to connect them, it becomes destructive and to become a winner. You have to make sure you connect with them. You have to contact people like you to share your knowledge and discuss what you do to learn more from others. The same industry mixed with those people, then how they have become successful, why I'm not becoming successful. You have to think and analyze the reasons and follow them. If you stop mixing around with people from your industry, you will miss learning the shortcuts to work smarter and spend all your time long hours in working. When you mix around with the people of from your industry only, you will know the shortcuts to work, to do the good job with a short time. Otherwise you'll be sitting there and you have to try to find out the shortcuts. It is not easy to do that because it all comes from the experience. The industry people, the industry influencers are very experienced. They know about that. You have to know your strength and concentrate more on that allow you to overcome your weakness easily. Do not dwell on failure. Do not always think about failure. You have failed, you, are, you have failed in the business, but do not think about it all the time. Try your best to come out of, of it. Forget about failures and the unfair treatment you receive from others. Do not worry about others. If you think, if you start going to worry about others, you will not worry about you and your business and you will certainly go down and down when you are thinking about other people. Just learn to ignore, take, do not take it to heart, learn to ignore. Do not ever leave the venture to keep going and until you see success. Do not ever, ever leave the venture. Keep going, work hard with the belief in you and your business, then you will see success then you will know how other people will start to believe in you. When you see the success of the people, that is natural. You can't blame anyone. That is natural. There's a natural things in human beings. So, and follow as their role model. When, they, when you see success, they will think, let me also going to start a business. Some people might think they, may, they will start to follow you and start their own business like you. So the best thing, when you are not successful in your business, the best thing is not to give up hope, believe in you and your business, continue to work hard and continue to find the correct paths to become successful. You will see the success one day. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please share it and subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you. I will talk to you. I'll see you in another one. Thank you. Bye for now. Thank you.